going. The oil is gone. Now, as you can see, there is no sheen in the water from the oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a, a section out of here to show you how easily it could be removed by hand without getting oil on the hand. No oil, no gloves necessary. What I'm doing now is I'm checking the sand. Uh, South Louisiana, you know, we get our sand from the Mississippi River, and uh, so it's normally darker, but I picked it up. I'll throw it back down, you can see there's no oil on my hands, so it picked up all the oil. That's pretty neat, Willie. So I can literally pick this stuff up oh, yeah. and don't have to wear a suit, no. and I don't have to just... No, because our hands are clean. And I would assume that high yeah. tide comes and lifts it up and brings it up at a higher level. So Ex exactly. When high tide comes up, it, all this remains on the, on the high tide. See Here, Kurt, just pull these off for me. Okay. Yeah. Now, it could be removed from the beach in, in this manner as well, on, on large cubes. Now, we can have several people on the beach doing exactly what I'm doing. Or we could wait till high tide, and the high tide would pick the oil wax mixture off the sand, and it would end up in the high tide level. And when the tide would go out, it would leave all this wax oil mixture on the high tide level and could be moved by hand, or like you say, a scoop. Okay, now everybody's worried about the dispersant in the oil that's uh, on the water presently. So I have some of that oil. What I'm going to do, you can get a close-up here, I'm going to pour some of this oil onto the water. Okay, now we have the dispersant oil on the water in order to solidify this. And this would work excellent in uh, estuaries, swamps, lagoons, ponds, uh, tide pools, anywhere still water exists. This would be the formula to use. So it's applied in this manner. It can be done by uh, a crop duster or an aircraft, or it could be done uh, uh, from shore with a, a spraying device. So you can see the, the granulated wax is collecting on this oil. So Willie, you say, you're saying you could do large lagoon areas and, and like in the marshes next to the grass and stuff? Oh, like absolutely. That? And it was actually separate from the grass, when it, when, from the grass? when it heals. Okay, now. Uh, because it takes a, a quite a while for this to the wax to absorb uh, uh, with the oil, and it has to be done put, applied in the daytime and removed the early morning next hours are, are cool where it's cooler in the evening. And the end result is this here. You see, there's no oil. There's no oil on this wax, and this would be the result of this application right here. The oil can be refined from the wax, and the wax can be used over. Oh. So this all can go to the refinery and then reused. So the best aspect of this is that this wax comes from the oil that's being spilled and can be recovered. And I can actually put this in a ball. And you can see there's our oil spill in my hand. And this too, this is, we're simulating a swamp or a lagoon. So it could be picked up with a fish net or scooped up with a net. So a local fisherman could have something to do. A local fisherman can now, it's, it's manageable now. But at, at this state, it's not, in this state, it's not manageable. Hi, I'm Kirk with Diamond L Industries. Um, wanted to uh, thank Willie for coming doing a demonstration. Um, also, local industries, uh, Sean Brosette and Blaine Brosett from Diamond L Industries and Timmy Bajron and Butch Dedivo from Tarpon Rentals out of Homa. Uh, very interested in saving our wetlands and our marshes. Uh, we love to fish and we love to hunt. 
We saw Willie's technology and thought it was very important to get him down here to demonstrate how we can clean our marshes, allow the fish to swim, allow the birds to land without killing so much wildlife, and do a clean type of cleanup, allow our local fishermen to have opportunities and jobs to go clean this up. And we wanted to thank you very much, Willie, for well, coming down. Well, yeah. Timmy and Butch, wanted to thank y'all. Dawn and Blaine, thank y'all very much.